I am Drusotis. It was this uh, Cypriot uh, couple, husband and wife, and they went on vacation to Barcelona. And while they're doing sightseeing, they all is actually went to the bullfights. After the bullfights were over, coming out of the stadium, there was a little tavern, a little Spanish tavern. So they went in, they sat down, and in the corner was a family of, uh, you know, local sp uh, Spaniards. And there was music around them, playing guitar, playing all kinds of drums around them, and having fun and singing, actually. Over a sudden, the lights go off. You feel like it was like a birthday party or something. Lights go off. A little trolley comes out with a big platter. And the platter was covered with silver, the silver cover. They bring it in front of him, the host. Okay, host brings it in front of him. He opens. And it was this big piece of meat, like a round, beautiful looking glazed meat. It was the custom to take the meat, cut pieces. So the host cut the pieces and gave the whole restaurant. So the couple, uh, they, took, they got a taste of it. They got a little plate. They were thanking them. They ate a little bit. I said, oh my gosh, this is the best meat I ever had. I mean, it tastes like liver, but it's unbelievable how tender it is. So and the wife says, what kind of meat is it? I'm not, let me ask. So they're calling the uh, waiter. And he says, uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, what's all this fuzz, the celebration, explain? I said, well, it's, we're celebrating uh, it was a very famous um, bull that was beaten by the bullfighter. So what you're eating now is the bull's cajones. What's cajones? You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, I'll explain later. Tells his wife, it's the big cajones of the bulls that we're eating. So the celebration of the defeat of this bull and the win of the bullfighter. Unbelievable, it was excellent. How do I get this? I said, well, I can. It's like months of preparation, months of reservations. It is not easy. I said, okay, well, we're here only for a few days. So maybe next time I'll manage it. Three, four years later, this guy finds himself in Barcelona with his son watching a soccer, a famous soccer game. And um, he uh, he's told his son, look, I remember with your mother, we came a long time ago, three, four years ago, and we went to this unbelievable restaurant. It's a great celebration. So we're going to go to the bullfights, and we're going to find this restaurant. But before that, let's get this concierge to uh, see if we can make a reservation for the special. I don't know if we have time. They say three, four months, but you never know. might be lucky. So the concierge, yes, you do have actually reservations for the special, you ask. So you got to show up exactly at 8 p.m. after the fight. No problem. So he's all excited, he takes his son, they sit down there, they walk into a restaurant, nobody's around. Kind of strange. It was packed three, four years ago. No music, nothing, no guitars. He comes in and says, I'm Costas, I call for the special. Yeah, Mr. Costa, sit down, we'll bring it. They brought some appetizers. And they bring this little plate with a little cover. They open up and it's this little tiny little meat like that. I don't know, it sounds like strange. It was even nicer and everything. But let me try. He tried taste it. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even taste good. Let me ask the waiter. Of course, the waiter says, excuse me, three, four years ago, I was here with my wife and we had this, it was a big celebration. We had this meat, the cajones of the bull. And this is different, it's little ones. Well, the, the waiter says, you know, sometimes the bull wins and sometimes he loses. So this is the new cajones of the bullfighter. <laughs>